What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. All right, so uh, as always, consult your manual and a, a certified electrician. I am not an electrician, so my videos are for educational purposes only. Anyways, let's get to it. Well, as you can see, I got both of my PV boxes uh, modified and mounted on the wall. Um, I'm not going to put the guts in them right now because it's just going to make it easier to connect the wires to the to the terminals when it's outside the box and then install it in the box. Um, I think I'm going to make the, uh, the conduit boxes for the PV be right here, obviously, but on the other side of the wall. Um, and then use this one for the, the generator reverse, uh, plug box right there. But, uh, yeah. Oh, Let's see. Yeah, it's looking good, y'all. All right, let's do it. All right, so we're just continuing on. Um, so today, what I'm, what I just did, and what I'm gonna do again to this one over here is, um, so instead of going out of the punch hole for the PV that's here, I covered that back up with the little piece that's supposed to go there, if you can see it with a little aluminum tape on this side just to hold it in place so it just looks nice. Um, and I wanted to use an elbow because I'm going to that side. So I popped it over in the one that's for gin because the generator will never go into this inverter. So why not? And what I did was I took the first piece of wire and before I put the conduit, I just measured it out and had it poking out the end made sure it was poking out this end a little uh, extra as well, and took it, electrical taped it to the next piece of wire, and measured, used that to measure out the other three pieces of wire so I'd have all four of the PV cables. So uh, yeah, super easy. Um, then I measured the conduit to length and installed it. So I'll be doing the same thing for this one to this inverter right now and I'll be back. All right, so figuring out which one's gonna be string one and string two because PV input one and two, right? So get your multimeter out, put it on the little thing that beeps, that's continuity. Take one end, shove it in one of them. Take the other end and touch them together so you get one and then that's and I marked it with a marker right there I put one dash and so that's for PV1 and then that's I've figured out that one on the other side as well as well as these I was just letting you know how to do it um, and then I took one piece of electrical tape and I separated PV1 from PV2 all right see and I just I same method measured them out from here down to the box it reaches, I promise. Um, and then I did the conduit. Okay, I'm not gonna connect it yet because I'm gonna run the wires through out here and then stick the wires through the hole on the isolator box and then install it. And I will be right back. All right, so this is the guts for that uh, PV isolator. Now, you see four in and four out. Now, you might would think that this end comes out here, but it does not. You might think that this one comes out here, but it does not. I put these marks on here. You don't have to do that. I, I just did it because it's a nice visual representation. Um, and again, just take your multimeter, put it on uh, continuity, and touch the uh, terminals until you, uh, you get a beep sound or look at the manual, there's a little paperwork that comes with it and it tells you which one's which, but I like this, so because uh, I mean, you're not gonna hold on to that paperwork forever, right? So um, I got it marked here. So one goes across actually to one, two across to two, three to three, and four to four. So it would be positive, negative, positive, negative for me. Positive, negative, positive, negative. We got the ferrules on there. I don't have the top done yet because I'm just doing the bottom first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all the connections into this 
and pull the slack up, up there. And uh, I'll show you what it looks like when I come back. And we're gonna look something like that. <laughs> positive, negative, positive, negative. Uh, shouldn't really take any explanation. Consult the owner's manual, of course, as always. But uh, yeah, and I'll be back. Okay, I got this side done. And I left slack here and everywhere else because, dude, if something goes wrong down the road and you have to cut off a piece of this wire and then uh, re-put it in one of these slots and you're an inch short, you're going to be kicking yourself in the ass because then you got to undo all this crap and, and run wire through that conduit again. So you don't want that smoke. So leave you a little bit of extra slack every time. Um, like I said, so that side's done. Um, I just got to go and, and do this one now and that one. And uh, I'll be back. Okay, so the other PV isolator is done. So I got from the inverter to the isolator is done. So what I'm going to do... Well, hey, little Nova. What are you doing, little girl? Um, I want to do a solar carport. I don't want to be hamstrung into having an extra structure on my property that all it does is hold solar panels. So for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I have a whole bunch of extra telephone poles from whenever we bought this property. The previous owners left it. Anyway, um, I'm just going to lay t telephone poles down in strips like that and just lay solar panels. I'll probably do eight or 16 just to hold me over. I want the carport here ish. Obviously, that fifth wheel won't be there, and that engine hoist won't be there. It'll just be a carport right here. Dig a trench from there to there. UL listed uh, conduit. UL listed wire, THHN. Get the appropriately sized wire for your application, and that part is covered. You would just go from there to your power pole. We're pretty close to kicking this thing off and getting it started up. So um, we're going to go over some settings that are in the inverters um, in your manual here. I don't know what's, what, what hardware and stuff you have, what batteries you have, and all of that. So you want to come to this page, page 44. Yeah, page 44. And it tells you how to work the displays on these things. And then you want to go through your settings because setting one is date and time. Your battery, you want to make sure that your uh, it's selected the re correct kind of battery. Um, and then the battery brand needs to be put in. Um, if you have more than one inverter like me, you need to go to the parallel setting and you need to turn parallel on, which parallel phase P1 is what I'm going to use, default P1. So parallel, uh, by default, it's no parallel. So you want it to be 1 pH. And you also want to enable battery share on both inverters. So you want to go, uh, turn, turn them on one at a time. Set the parallel, set battery share, set the battery type on both of them. For me, I don't know what you have, so you may have extra steps. Again, consult your manual. For me, I am pretty damn sure that's all I need to do for now. And we'll be ready to, uh, to turn the system on. All right, I'll be back. Well, she's running. I'm going to put the cover on all these and everything whenever I'm done uh, shooting the video. For right now, I just have the wiring loose because uh, honestly, I didn't want to dig the trench <laughs> by hand. And we're going to have a well drilled in, uh, in about a month or so. And I'll have to dig a trench for that as well. So I'm just going to rent a trencher. And when I do that, I'll put that in the conduit and uh, fix it correctly. But um, yeah. Let me go show you the solar panels because uh, I want, like I said before, I want to put a carport right here and I got to get all the permits and all that jazz for that. 
So for now, they are on the ground over there on telephone poles. I'll walk over there and I'll show you. So as you can see, I just got them over here out in the open. It's got very good morning sun and evening sun. So they're just uh, 10 panels ran in series for now. And it's honestly, these 10 panels are more than enough to power my house right now. And I've got 8,000 more watts. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So yeah, uh, she's all done for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for following along. If I did something wrong or anything, comment below and let me know. Or uh, if you got questions, let me know. Peace.